You betcha, I'm George, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Radian Relive to record games and any other content. Radian Relive is offered by AMD. Relive is actually a whole kind of platform to control your GPU, but specifically we're going to be looking at recording. Right now I have the latest version for uh, the new year of 23, and that was released back at the end of November. You can see some of the games that I have played. I don't know why Space Pirate Trainer is showing up on here of all things. And then we're recording. So when you're not recording, you can click on this little record a video here. And that will start this recording. And you can see here how long it's been going. You can stop it. You can also click right here to uh, disable the mic, but we're not going to do that right now. There is a couple other options that you can use for recording. OBS is a very popular one that is used especially in VR quite a bit. And that one's not specific to any platform since you need an AMD GPU to work with Radeon Relive. NVIDIA, who is also, I think I believe they're the larger GPU manufacturer, also has their own recording platform if you do get a GPU from them. So, like I said, you can start the recording right here. There's actually quite a few options. So, record and stream. This is more for... Uh, I don't necessarily use this part as much because some of this seems like it's more catered towards streaming anyways. You can crop to just do a region rather than the full window. What I use more is if you go to this gear in the top right, then you can go to record and stream and this gives us more options related to recording videos so we don't want record desktop on because then we can see everything that's going on so high that's the kind of sets a lot of these values in game means that it's going to be showing the same resolution as you see on screen so if we change it to a lower resolution and then we wouldn't it'd be uh lower less pixels that would be shown recording fps that can be 60 or 30 60 is just a lot more smooth i wouldn't mess with this uh, bit rate and audio rate i just leave that with whatever the recording profile is avc is a good recording type so we're also not gonna mess with that and then what i realized what i really like now is to have a separate microphone recording track that means it, there's just going to be a separate file just for your mic audio. So I've ran into a problem a lot to where either my game audio or my mic audio will lag behind. Sometimes my mic audio will, will be right on and my game audio will be behind. So that means that it's all in one audio file so you can't separate the two. But now that there are two separate ones, we can in post-processing we can line them up to fix that leg. Here you can enable record audio. I don't really like to use push to talk just because especially if you're recording videos you want the audio on as much as possible. So Relive does do a lot of cool things too. Just to talk about this. You can see your system, like what you have exactly for hardware. This is a free software, but you need to buy this rather expensive hardware before you can use it. And Radian Relive only supports a certain amount of certain types of GPUs, which you can see here. If you don't have one of these, then I don't believe you'll be able to use it because it's not supported. I've had a few different problems while using Radian Relive. The main problem is that for some reason you power it up and this record isn't here so you can't record a video it's just like an ad on the front and a couple other things and then if you go to options you're missing most of your options here. I haven't found really any good fixes online besides what the couple fixes that I've done in case you ever see this problem is make sure you update your drivers and software here for your GPU and then also make sure Windows is updated, if you're using Windows, that is. If that doesn't work, which it didn't for me once, what I had to actually do is go to Radian Relive 
and get to grab their installer and go through their install process, which actually we installed this version of Radiant Real Live and then reinstalled it and then it worked. So that's what I'd recommend if your recording isn't an option. So this is just a little bit on how to go through Radiant Real Live recording. I'm going to be making a few more videos on free software that I used for YouTube. So thanks for watching and leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Thank you. Mm -hmm.